I started an eBay store, okay. But the timing was wrong, okay. For me because I started the store when I was in the process of losing my home, okay. I lived from my car for a year and I wanna start a YouTube channel. Not sure on the approach, I feel kind of embarrassed. Okay, dude, that's, that's the best content to make. You know, the best con if you're gonna make a, a YouTube channel, the best content you can make is about your journey to stop living in your car. Most people are, are exactly what you said. They're too embarrassed to, to share where they're at. They're too embarrassed to show that they're struggling. And that's the real stuff. Like, what are you gonna make your, your channel about? Uh, eBay success? Like, if you haven't had it yet, then don't make the content on it because you haven't done it. And that's totally fine, but your channel becomes about the, the process and the grind to go and get it. Um, I remember there was a guy who came to see me in Arizona. I was doing a, um, my speaking tour. And we did a stop in, in Phoenix. And he won a one-on-one -on -one with me afterwards. And I didn't know it at the time, but he was homeless. And he, he said, yes, I'm going to be a huge honor. I can't, I mean, I'm so, so excited. Um, and he ended up sleeping in his car and driving and, you know, obviously doesn't have a lot of money for gas either and driving to come see me. And he, he stayed for a couple hours or something outside my, my place just to make sure that he'd be able to be there on time. And I love the story. It's like, man, thank you for sharing that. Cause you would never know. You would never know. You'd never know that, that he was homeless. Right. I think there's a, there's a big stigma, um, against homeless people where you, you so many homeless people you would never know i've had homeless people show up to my uh events and coffee shop meetups whenever i do i mean one of my favorite things to do when i was traveling was to do a meetup in the city because meeting local people is always my favorite thing to do when i'm when i'm traveling um and i always would do it at a starbucks or a local coffee shop or something instead of a fancy place because sometimes people would show up they'd be homeless you know and you would never know you'd never know that they're homeless you would never know. Um, you know, people don't walk around with a name tag that says, hi, I'm homeless. And if you do it at a Starbucks or something, then people don't even need to buy anything, right? If we do it at a local business, I always try to support, uh, you know, one of the local companies um, and encourage people to, you know, get something. But if you can't afford it, don't worry, you know, like you can still show up at the Starbucks and sit outside and we'll have a great time. So um, Frank was his name. Um, and now he's in Movement Makers, which is amazing. You know, he's gotten, he's started his art career. He's gotten himself back on his feet. Um, he's joined our, our membership program. It's great. But when I met him, he was homeless. And so that's the content to make. You know, that's what people want to see, the real stories. So your come up story is what you start to document. Whether your path through is going to be eBay or um, making content and you're trying to make a full-time income off of YouTube, like whatever you're, whatever you're trying to do, you show the process of you trying to do it. And you're gonna make lots of mistakes and a lot of things are not gonna work out and you're gonna suck at the beginning because you don't know what you're doing. Um, this could even be a video right now, right? Where he's like, I don't know what I'm doing. So I saw Evan has a live stream and I'm gonna go and try to ask him questions. And hopefully I get an answer that I can do something with. Right. And then maybe you love my answer or maybe you hate my answer, <laughs> but that's the, that's the process. That's the journey that you start to share. And, um, I think it'd be amazing to be able to take people on that journey of you trying to go chase down your dream. And it's from very, you know, it's the humblest of humble beginnings, dude. Right. And just seeing you get up every day, and try to grind to get your dream, I think will be inspiring others to say, well, what's my excuse? You know, here's, here's sacredness uh, going off and doing it. And he, why am I complaining? You know, I've got, a, I've got at least a home. So I love it. And, and for, um, you know, recognize that everybody's embarrassed by something. Everybody's got a part of their story that they're embarrassed by. And by you owning your embarrassment to say, hey, this actually makes me 
this makes me really embarrassed to share this. I, I can't believe I'm homeless. Like I, I never would have thought growing up that I would be here. That, even just saying the words, I'm homeless, makes me feel like a loser. Or, 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 you know, I'm putting words in your mouth. But whatever, whatever rings true for you, and sharing the fact that it makes you feel embarrassed, and, and you're still going to get up, and you're still going to show up for yourself, because you don't want to be in the same spot. And we all get to follow your journey of becoming not homeless, and then building a, a career. Um, one more quick story. There's a guy named William Hollis. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. He's a motivational speaker. Uh, William Hollis. He was, uh, he's Canadian. He, he lived not too far away from me, um, just in a neighboring city. And he was homeless and struggling. And he listened to my videos um, to have encouragement, have motivation to do, you know, to try to get, try to break free and try to not be homeless anymore. Anyway, so William Hollis, he has a dream to be a motivational speaker. And I, I talked to him on my Instagram live and he tells me the story about how, you know, he's homeless and he's a motivational speaker. It's like, hey, well, hey, send me what you got. Let's hear your best thing. And he sent me a video. I'm like, you know what? I like this guy. Let, let's, let's give him a shot. And so we made a video together. He did the audio. Um, Maybe he did the full video too, I don't remember, but we did a video collaboration together called The Believe. I said, give me your best speech about Believe and if I like it, I'll publish it. And he did, and I liked it, so I published it. Um, fast forward, uh, I don't know, a year or so later, we do another Instagram Live. He's like, Evan, I saw you on Instagram, I had to come on live and I wanted to talk to you because I made it, dude, I made it. I, look, I'm, I'm here, and he had, he had moved to the US at that point. I moved to the, I moved to the US I'm chasing my dreams. I have my own house. I have my own house, dude. I have my own house. And he was like so happy that he had his own house. And he's, he's got, um, you know, he's in a, uh, a gated community and he had a picket fence. And, you know, it wasn't like the biggest of big homes. It's like he did that. He, he made the progress. He bet on himself. He chased his dreams and he just wanted to share and took me on a tour of, this, of his house. And it wasn't, you know, again, some giant home, but he had a house, man. And when, when you, you know, he's like, hey, when you're when you're like me and you were going through garbage cans and just trying to get any food you can, this is a big deal. I, I have my own house and I wanted to share it with you because your videos meant a lot to me and and you giving me that chance on your on your channel just gave me that extra encouragement to say, you know what, somebody somebody sees something in me and it gave him that extra push. Now fast forward to to this year and he's touring with Les Brown, doing his speaking gigs. He was on um, Impact Theory with Tom Bilyeu not too long ago. Uh, and he said, you know, as my buddy Evan Carmichael says, you gotta believe. <laughs> like, thank you for the shout out, man, appreciate you. You know, and, and so that journey is what we wanna see. That's the best stuff, man. That's the best stuff. You're gonna give hope to everybody who feels embarrassed about the thing that they have, whether it's homelessness, whether it's uh, an alcohol addiction, whether it's a, a criminal record that they feel has scarred them for life, like everybody's embarrassed about something. And you showing up every day and showing us, not that you're perfect, but showing us how you're attacking it despite being embarrassed, despite being afraid, despite having you know everything stacked against you and you're still gonna show up and do it, man. That's, that's the story. That's inspiring. I'm getting inspiring and I you know, don't even know you. <laughs> like, that's it. Let's go.